believe that this is my seventh year of pardoning a turkey. Time flies, even if turkeys don't. <laughs> we should also make sure everyone has something to eat on Thanksgiving. Uh, of course, except the turkeys, because they're already stuffed. So somehow that very unfunny man now has his own sketch comedy show on Netflix. That's right, the former president and first lady are producing a show called The G Word, which is expected to be loosely based on an anti-Trump book about the supposed chaos during the transition in 2016. It's not only the comedy series no one in America is not asking for, it's also just more competition for my next guest, who is joining me now, Jeff Dunham, whose new comedy special, completely unrehearsed, last minute pandemic holiday special, premiered tonight on Comedy Central. Congrats about that. So, Thanks, Lisa. So, Jeff, this is really something that, you know, we need more of, which is anti-Trump bias. There's, there's not enough of that right now. Yeah, it, Walter. Uh, Lisa, did you, you didn't introduce me to this time, and thanks for having me on the show. I got a question for you before we get into the Obama thing. So sitting in for Laura uh, over Thanksgiving, is this like a career move, or did you lose a bet? <laughs> well, I would say <laughs> career move, but I, you know, I'm sure the people who hate me would say other things. I, so, yeah, you know, I, as, for the, as for the Obama sketch uh, comedy show, I, I just, I honestly don't understand it. There's the dignity of the office. There's the 72 million people, uh, you know, that voted the other way uh, this year. So I, I, it, it really bewilders me. But did you know, Lisa, did you know this, that Obama actually wanted to be our opening act in our Comedy Central special this time? Did you know that? Why, I hope he said no, because he's not very funny. Well, but we didn't say no. The Secret Service said no, because they wouldn't let Jeff stuff them in the suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that would probably raise some alarms, I would assume, among the Secret Service. But so here, I mean, look, why the com comedians have barely touched Joe Biden. Like, I can give you plenty of material. He sat around with kids around him talking about a guy named Corn Pop. He talked about when he was a lifeguard at the pool, kids touched his hairy legs. I mean, right there target-rich environment. Why have comedians not, they've barely touched it. I, you know, it's, it's that, that the cancel culture, because it's, it's amazing how comics now, uh, I used to say that, that a stand-up comedy was the last form of free speech. It's not anymore, because you know how it is. Everybody has a voice now. Everybody's on social media. There used to be the sanctity of the comedy club or the sanctity of, uh, you know, the, the live show. Uh, but now, um, and I used to say, if you were offending 5% of the audience, it was a good, it was a good number, because the 5% that were ticked off, whatever they were mad at, the other 95% were laughing at. But now, unfortunately, that 5% can end your career with a couple of tweets. So it's, it's becoming really difficult now. But so why do you think we've arrived at this moment, though? I mean, you're, you're talking about some of the cancel culture we see. We literally see people go through, you know, social media accounts like five years ago, right, and try to destroy someone's career. So why, why have we arrived at this point? Well, I, I, again, I think it's the social media. I think that uh, everybody has a voice now. and everybody there, It didn't used to be that way. You didn't hear from Joe Schmo, But now Joe Schmo can say whatever he wants. He can hide in his basement, hide behind his... Uh, uh, his computer screen and his keyboard and just say what he wants. And so, like tonight, my premiere, uh, uh, my special premiered, and I was talking to the people that look at this stuff for me, and I said, how are the numbers? How is it, you know, how is, uh, what are the reactions? Reactions are good. And then what percentage of haters do we have? Well, there, <laughs> because... there's, there's always haters. <laughs> right. But I, I do, I, I, I don't know the answer to this. And for the people that tend to uh, lean a little bit right, uh, yeah, there's no room for you. Um, it is amazing how it's just like voting. It's the same thing. If you leaned a little bit right and we're going to vote uh, for Trump, you didn't dare tell anyone. It's the same with comics right. uh, or anybody in show business right now. Um, or many businesses. And, and you Jeff, can't say. I, I want to make you sure. You can't say if you're leaning right. Right. And I want to make sure, I want to play this uh, clip for the audience because I want to make sure they see it before um, you've got to go. So this is from your new holiday comedy special. Everyone take a look. You're not six feet away! I'm safe, cause I got my mask on. We want some laughs. Yeah, we're in the middle of the terrible pandemic, so let's have a nice chuckle. <laughs> Why do you think we've been staying at home so much? Walter says, cause your career is over with. So tell me a little bit about your special and why people should tune in. Well, uh, this was really was a last minute special. I've been sitting around for, for months and I thought I gotta do something. Here's when I knew I had to do something. I was in the kitchen with my five-year-old twin boys and my wife. I picked up a chip clip to make it talk. My boys were on the floor laughing. They thought it was a comedic genius. I thought I gotta get out of this house. 
So we threw this special together and uh, some really good writers. We put it all together. We put it on stage. I only thought it up two months ago. We shot it three weeks ago and now it's on the air. Uh, it's aired a couple times already on your coast and it's going to air in just a few minutes at eight o'clock our time here on the West Coast. But I, I did it because I feel people need laughs and there's no politics in this special whatsoever. Uh, so I've changed that up a little bit. It's for the whole family. And I, I just think it's goofy, stupid fun. Yeah, I, like your show. No. Well, Jeff and Walter, I can't forget uh, you little guy, or I guess old old guy. You look, uh, you know, I mean, you look kind of okay. young, but, you know. All right, Jeff, Walter, thanks for joining us.